today i'll talk about pxy diagram now here the problem is given the vapor pressure of benzene 1 means component 1 and toluene 2 component 2 can be evaluated by antony equation so antony equation is given so ln pi saturated and pi means pressure is in kilopascal is equal to ai means antony constant minus bi by t in degree centigrade plus ci so antony equation is given and antony coefficient for the system benzene and toluenes are also given in the table so benzene uh, that is component 1 ai bi and c constants are given and toluene uh, that ai bi and ci also are given for ideal uh, for ideal binary system answer the following so that mixture is ideal con uh, ideal system means ideal mixture uh, and, and it is also a binary system now first question is prepare a graph showing p versus x1 and p versus y1 for a temperature of 90 degree centigrade means p x y diagram first we have to draw at constant temperature 90 degree centigrade and then calculate bubble pressure and dew pressure for the solution of overall composition z1 is 0 0.5 at 90 degree centigrade so means z1 means that in that mixture mixture in that feed mixture uh, that benzene is there so benzene mole fraction is 0 0.5 uh, and at 90 degree centigrade calculate bubble point and dew point now I am going to solve this problem now first as it is a binary mixture so it follow Raoult's law so what is Raoult's law Raoult's law describe the vapor pressure of an individual component in a mixture of a liquid so uh, how do you calculate that for component I in a solution so pi is equal to xi into pi saturated means from using Raoult's law we can calculate partial pressure so partial pressure is equal to xi into pi saturated now where pi is the partial pressure pars partial uh, vapor pressure of the component i and xi is the mole fraction of the component i in the liquid phase and pi saturated is the vapor pressure of the pure component and pi here pi it is not actually vapor pressure you can say partial pressure and pi saturated is the vapor pressure of pure component i so means partial pressure we can calculate partial pressure is equal to xi into pi saturated now we can calculate total pressure so total pressure is nothing but summation of all partial pressure so total pressure above in ideal solution is the sum of vapor pressure of each component for component i in a solution so p total is equal to summation of i to n pi now here it is a binary mixture so n is equal to 2 so i is equal to 1 to 2 means uh, p total is equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to 2 p1 plus p2 and we know partial pressure is equal to mole fraction into uh, that saturated pressure or saturated vapor pressure so here p1 we can write x1 uh, we can write <coughs> so this one x1 p1 saturated plus x2 p2 saturated now pi is, pi is the uh, the partial vapor pressure of the component i x i is the mole fraction of the component i in the liquid phase pi saturated is the vapor pressure of the pure component i now we know p total is equal to x1 p1 saturated and x2 p2 saturated now so <coughs> p1 saturated we can uh, get from the antony equation so ln pi saturated kp a is equal to ai minus bi t in plus ci so pi saturated we can easily calculate so that will be to the power ai uh, by bi by tc t degree centigrade plus ci now we can plug that antony equation in p1 saturated so now our equation becomes p total is equal to x1 e to the power a1 minus b1 t degree centigrade plus c1 plus x2 e to the power a2 minus b2 t degree centigrade plus 2 now a1 b1 and c1 is the benzene antony constant and a2 b2 and c2 are the so this is uh, c2 not uh, uh, t degree centigrade plus c2 so that will be uh, <coughs> antony uh, antony constant for toluene now if you put the all the antony constant so x p total will be x1 into e to the power uh, that antony a1 is 13.8594 and then b1 2773.78 plus t degree centigrade plus 220.07 okay that is c const constant c for benzene then x2 into uh, e to the power 14.0098 minus that 3103 minus 0. 1 t degree centigrade plus 219 minus 79 so we get that equation now we, go, we got that equation 
now we know that for binary mixture uh, mole fraction some sum of mole fraction is equal to 1 so x1 plus x2 is equal to 1 so x1 will be 1 minus x2 now if we plug the pt in kilopascal so x1 to the power that vapor pressure uh, the vapor pressure term for pure component and 1 minus so x1 x2 will be 1 minus x1 so that we will get now data given what are the data given so data is the t is actually 90 degrees given now we plug this t in 90 degree so we will get the equation now here parameter to be find found out so only the two parameters are unknown so one is pt and x1 now you know x1 varies from 0 to 1 so now if we take uh, that uh, if, we, if, we, if we take that x1 is equal to 0, 0 0.0 so we can easily calculate the total pressure pt so now here just plug the value so we'll get that uh, for x1 x1 become 0 to 1 so for every point so uh, here i am just showing one calculation when we take x1 is equal to 0, 0.0 so then pt will be this if we plug out plug this value okay that will be 554.2 similarly if we plug 0 0.1 0 0.2 so we will get all this pt value so now from here so we got the data pt x1 versus p now we have to find out y also now we know that pi that partial pressure is equal to mole fraction of gaseous phase into total pressure so from here we can calculate pi uii is equal to x1 uh, that uh, pi we know that x1 into p1 saturated by pt so we can do that right so this, this will be y1 right y1 is equal to x1 p1 saturated by pt so now here p1 saturated is a constant uh, is constant at 90 degree centigrade and pt will change with x1 now here so p1 saturated pt and x1 are known and from the previous table we can easily calculate y1 so x1 is varying from 0 to 1 we can calculate pt and p1 saturated is constant for at 90 degree centigrade so from that that equation we can easily calculate y1 right so after doing up uh, so uh, we, we got the text one versus pt and y1 also now we can plot that graph so it is like that so plot will be like that okay now that z1 is given so that is z1 is 0 0.5 now if we go uh, on from if we if we if we draw that uh, vertical line so that will come so dew point so the red curve is the dew point curve that y versus p and top one blue curve bubble point curve so that is x versus p now when we draw that vertical line so that will cut the dew point line as well as the bubble point line now if we draw that horizontal line okay so uh, that horizontal line uh, so uh, from that bubble point bubble point curve so if i draw the horizontal line so that will be bubble point pressure and if we draw the horizontal line uh, uh, from the dew point line so we'll get means that point intersection so that will if we draw from that left so we'll get the pressure so that will bubble uh, dew point pressure so this is dew point pressure at 78.1 kpa and this is bubble point pressure at 90.2 kp and composition is composition of feed is 0 0.5 that's it thank you so now i hope you know how to draw the px and py diagram means pxy diagram and we, what is bubble dew point curve and what is bubble point curve also you know so remember bubble curve dew point curve will be always in that the downside and bubble kind bubble point curve will be the upside okay now if we draw that vertical line uh, so here composition of feed is given so that will cut two point so now if i draw the horizontal line from this intersection of dew point so we will get and if we uh, go to that left left axis so we get that pressure so that is dew point pressure and from that similarly bubble point curve if we draw the horiz horizontal line and it will cut to cut to the uh, left um, the y axis so that that will get the bubble point pressure that's it thank you